in architectural terms, in compositional terms, we've got a very angular and tall shard, and, we will, and we've got a very low, horizontal kind of rolling form, and I think the two together kind of, it, it kind of finishes the composition, so this fifth elevation is really part of the story. It's like a giant urban sculpture. I think for passengers, London Bridge Station was an incredibly difficult station to use. There's actually a Sir John Betjeman quote, the poet laureate and rail enthusiast, who actually described it as the most muddled and complicated station in all of London, and that you couldn't find your way around it without a long apprenticeship. There were several key challenges with the station. The first was to make it operationally work. We're trying to design for 96 million passengers from 46 million. We then wanted to try and connect both sides of Southwark because the the uh, railway station had severed two communities. We also then wanted to create a, you know, a light and airy concourse, really humanise the journeys for passengers, but then create a lively space for the community itself. It's effectively a street, it's not really a station. I think people use it as, as they would use any, any street, it just happens to be a covered street and you happen to have access to railway trains. The station itself is conceived kind of like a British version of the Grand Central Station in New York. It's really an internal space. It doesn't ac actually have a main entrance, so people kind of approach the station from different angles. The, the main approach is from the LUL, which is at the other side of the station. So we have this kind of long arcade called the Western Arcade, which has these beautiful quadripartite uh, concrete arches which, which link the two parts. It's actually the oldest part of the station, and it's the old viaducts, the 1836 part of the station. So really what we've got to do, part of our job, is not only to create this grand, civilised space, but also negotiate with the levels of history. I think what's important for passengers is that there's a kind of, um, when you arrive in these big termini, it's a kind of, it's a, it's a kind of civilising moment, or it's a kind of humanise their journey, but also it's about scale, space, uh, it's about materials, and I think what we've got here is we've got a, a large space, so you feel connected, you can see where you're going, it's very legible. Um, it's got lovely materials such as the wooden soffits and it's all sort of doused in natural daylight so you've got this connection with nature so you're always kind of connected to the elements be it either kind of lovely materials or daylight. From a personal perspective to see people using it, to enjoy it, to see it fully integrated with that part of the city and not be this kind of place you avoided or it was had a, such a bad reputation, I think lifting its reputation and it becoming a place is really the best thing.